I'm going to show you how to do the fastest leveling in Diablo 4, at least early mid game. I don't know about late game areas, but this is this area right here. And when you first come here, you'll have to do this crazy side, not side quest, but like world side quest almost, where you have to go up to these edges and you have to get up to these enemies that are up high. And then you have to kill them in order to unlock a boss in the center of this thing and then kill him. You're going to want to do that. That's right here on the map. You're going to want to do that. To do it when you get to one of these guys, you hit them and then it'll summon a boss and you have to kill the boss and then you have to kill that guy who's channeling that energy. After all that, you're going to come to the center, finish off any of the remaining Ice Clan, and then you'll be able to fight this guy, the Frosthorn. Go ahead and beat this guy, and then you'll be able to lock an insane cave that'll get you a crazy amount of XP and really good loot. After doing that, head to the top right right here, the northeast of this little area. Interact with the Wanderer Shrine, and that will complete this area. Now that we conquered the Stronghold, we can go to this right here. So again, it was over here on the map to the east of Kavashad or whatever gonna go to anika's claim this place is one of the best places to farm xp and items in the game so the way that this works is you're just gonna aoe farm this there's a bunch of bosses in the first half that you're gonna beat and they'll have a really high chance of dropping good gear and if you're just trying to level you'll just run through an aoe farm a bunch of things and reset the dungeon i'll show you sped up what i'm talking about you'll want to go from group to group to group kill most of the mobs and the main thing you're looking for is these bosses right here the animus carriers you're just going to kill them kill any mobs around them and then just keep on going through like this uh the main goal is to kill the mo the bosses the animus carriers because they can drop the legendary gear the most frequently but then for the mobs you're just going to clear most of them and then just move on to the next group over and over again you don't actually want to fully clear each group because it can just take a while to hunt down every last one of them, especially since there's a lot of spear throwers in this game. But there's a ton of animus carriers in this one. Each one can drop legendary gear. Each one gives a ton of XP when killed. And you're just going to go through this entire loop one single time really fast each cycle. So as you can see, there were a ton of elite enemies in here. Really, really good. You just go through and do this whole loop. And then you leave the dungeon like this by opening the map and then clicking the entrance. But then you'll come out here and what you'll do as a solo player is you'll leave game and then you'll just come back in like this and that will reset the dungeon otherwise you have to wait like a minute or two before you can do the dungeon again but if you do this then go back in it should reset it now if you're in a party it's even easier you can just leave the party and then reinvite your friends it'll automatically kick you out of the dungeon when you leave the party reinvite them and it'll also have reset the dungeon but if you leave game and come back in like that and then come back into the dungeon it will do a brand new dungeon so that's like the new way to reset dungeons in um the latest patch although i wonder if they'll patch that eventually maybe not i don't know but now it's reset and we can do it all again and we can keep repeating this loop and you just kill all the animus carriers here and uh that's if you want the best loot is the animus carriers if you want the best xp then generally what you're gonna do is you're just going to clear a lot of the mobs in each group so like you'll come through and you'll try to group up the mobs and then mow down a bunch but don't like kill every single one unless it just happens so like you can come in and then you'll like, come into a scenario like this and you'll just kill most of the things and once there's just one or two enemies left you just leave them it's not worth the time to go from one to one to one to the next to the next to the next and just clear them all out it's better to group them all up and then kill a bunch all at once and then just move on all right, guys, hope that helps you out level up faster. This place is insane. I can get a level every, like, 5 to 10 minutes as a solo sorceress. Uh, this place is just crazy good, guys. And also, you can get so much of this crazy good loot. So you can just keep doing it, get the loot. There's a blacksmith right outside of here. So you can just go and, like, get rid of it all whenever, like, every cycle or two. Whenever you get a full inventory, or maybe you don't have your cycle or two, but every time you get a full inventory, you just go out of here, go to the blacksmith, get rid of it, come back, you know, go, go through this place, just do the first part, kill all the bosses, and kill the biggest clumps of enemies. And then after that, just go leave, uh, then hit leave game, come back in, and then go in again. It resets the dungeon. Just do it again and again and again. So, guys, this is one of the fastest, if not fastest, cave in the game with some of the best loot that you'll be able to find.